Okay, JB, here's the experiment. Here's my 23 foot painter's pole with the bottom section being fiberglass and insulated. And it's in an umbrella stand. There's a hastily constructed choke ballon that seems to be working okay. And if we work our way up, you'll see an uh, extension wire. Cut and try did it. That gives me a real good SWR. I'm going to show you a little bit later in this video. First section goes up to that section, sec second section there. And we'll get some more detail when I go up on the second floor. And there's the vent tunnel way up there configured for 20 meters. That's not a great deal of detail, but uh, we'll catch that on the way up, okay? Anyway, if we stand back all the way, here we go. Pretty much well above my roof line, okay? Uh, I'd say at the tip top of that must be, uh, let's say, 23 and 12 is uh, 35 feet maybe. All right. Of course, there's a lot of cable on the ground here, okay? 50 ohm cable, 50 ohm cable patched together, going up to the station. That's not the world's greatest uh, way to test these things either, but it does represent worst case. Okay, so at the beginning of the uh, 40 meter amateur band here, uh, well, about 14, uh, 14,000 or so. SWR is 1.2. Uh, a nominal 50 or so ohms. Uh, let's work our way up the band down to 1.1 slowly, back up to 1.2, and look at that. Stays there at 1.2. Oh, look at that. Not until I get up to about 14.084, 85 does it get up to 1.3. So the entire 20 meter CW band. It was pretty much uh, 1.2 on the average and down low, where I like to hang out, it's 1.1 uh, with a nominal 50 ohms. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, I'm on a vertical now. Not much happening on 20. Go to the dipole. Now the vertical. Dipole. Vertical. Not a whole lot of difference. Of course, the vertical really is a, <laughs> a dipole. It's vertical, right? Dipole, sleeve dipole. Hmm. Well, only thing left now to do is make contact, try it out.
hang on. Okay, well, that was a 5.59 on the vertical and a 5.69 to a 5.79 on the dipole. So, I guess the dipole still wins out over the vertical, even though it's in the attic. So far, nothing's beat that dipole. I'm just working the world with it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, quit while I'm ahead, huh? So, if I loosen the plastic compression nut here, uh, after I've loosened the uh, the clamp and gotten the uh, the braid out, 
I can pull this post all the way down, see? And, uh, well, there's a detail in the way I mounted it on top. That's a mobile mount. And, uh, I, this is anodized. I had to, uh, I had to get the, uh, you know, the, the surface film off. It's some bare metal in there. And, um, drilled a hole, put a grommet in, and put the RG58 from Radio Shack down on through. And then, this is the mobile mount. This little piece right here I got from Ventenna. That's the mobile mount converter. 3 8 uh, 24 to uh, 3 16 And then the, uh, the Ventenna. That mounts right on here, okay? So that's that. So, now, what we gotta do, put the camera down a minute. There. Now, and there we go. I can, the antenna's down. I can take that apart, stow it in the bag, and have this uh, little clip here. Okay, so after blowing a whole day in hot, humid, sticky conditions and about $50, here's what I conclude. This neat little HFP in this little bag is just fine the way it was designed and the way it's written up to be operated. After trying to uh, use it as half of a sleeve dipole on a 23 foot painter's pole, my bright idea to try to get the uh, vertical antenna up above my roof line. Uh, I did contact France and I got a 559. When I switched to my uh, attic doublet, I got a 569 to 579. I got a 559 with this just sitting on the ground with the three radials uh, a couple of weeks ago, also working France. So. Uh, I have to conclude that my attempt to build a sleeve dipole for 20 meters hasn't met with the greatest of success. It hasn't met with failure, of course. Uh, it was nice to see that SWR flat from 14,000 up to about 1465. Um, and it certainly did radiate and uh, matched up well. Put the auto tuner and the K2 out of business today. Didn't even have to hit it. But. Uh, I think that I'll stick with my horizontal doublet and uh, whip out the old HFP vertical when I want to go portable someplace and set it up the way it was designed to be set up. I initially thought this up because it just bothered me, you know, having a vertical antenna that's only about 12 feet high sitting on the ground uh, with all the truck uh, structure and trees around. It just seemed like I could do better. So I dreamed up this idea of a, a vertical dipole and putting a coax inside the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the collapsing uh, hollow tubes of a 23-foot painter's pole. Uh, as I say, it worked, but uh, not spectacular enough to uh, incite me to want to set it up again. Anyway, I guess that's ham radio, right? You try things and you learn. And uh, you try not to make the same mistake twice. 73.